Is half on his Jasmine reacting to my horror, horror, <laughs> my horror BBL story by his camera J. Let's get it. Yeah, this is a very anticipated video, a video that everybody wanted me to post because boom, is out there that I had surgery again. And yeah, let's talk about it. So right now I am currently in Italy um, in this beautiful, beautiful hotel and I am vlogging. So make sure y'all tune into my smaller channel, Life of K, for all my daily vlogs and stuff like that. I'm going to be uploading a lot of vlogs and I have a lot of content to put out. But anyways, enough of the rambling. I know you guys want to know like, yeah, I know, why do you keep getting surgery? Da, da, da. So. I want to do this video um, and I want to be very open and honest with you guys about some things and hopefully you guys will understand me. Hopefully you guys will be able to support me and just be there for me mentally, physically, emotionally and stuff uh, because this is so- Looking for support from the internet is wild. A bunch of strangers that don't know you, that most of them don't know what you look like in real life. You don't have a personal relationship with them, but you want them to support you. In this journey, the same people that a lot of them don't know what's going on, you know. Thing that I didn't open up about for two years. Uh, it's something that I've been going through for uh, two, three years. Um, and well, I say two years, going on three years. I'm not going through it anymore. But I was going through this for two years. And I kept it hidden from the world. I kept it hidden from my platform, YouTube. Going through something for two years and keeping it hidden from everybody when your job is social media is hard. Literally. I cannot imagine what she went through that entire time trying to hide social media and stuff like that because I was afraid of being judged. So let's just get straight into this. First surgery back in 2021, I had a BBL. Um, to you guys, I had a BBL. To me, not even to me, but that's not really what I got. Um, and I didn't want to be open about what I got because I was afraid of being judged. I think she says she got implants, which is different from a BBL, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, I don't have surgery. And I was afraid of opening up about this, and you know, um, women getting BBLs already looked down upon, even though I honestly don't care. Like I, what I do, what I want to do that, whatever makes me happy, I'm going to do. I don't care what anybody else got to say. It's this is where I disagree. You literally just said, I was scared of being judged. I hid for two years. I didn't want to show nobody. I didn't want nobody to see me. I'm looking to you guys, a bunch of strangers on the internet for moral support that most of them have no idea what I look like in real life. But yet, I don't care what people think about me. I don't know. That's kind of contradicting. And I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I'm expressing myself and being who I am. But also, what you're saying is kind of like, huh? My body. And other women out there, if you want to get a BBO, if you want to get a tummy tuck, if you want to get your breasts done, if you want to get whatever done, do what makes you happy. Who gives a Do what makes you happy and you do care. Because... Y'all, or a lot of people say that get their body done. I don't care what nobody else thinks. This is what I like. But she literally just said that she hid herself for two years because she was afraid of people judging her. So it's like, y'all, do you care what people think or do you not care? And I feel like a lot of YouTubers do that. You know? I don't get it. It's like one minute when they try to be all big and bad, it's like, oh, I don't care. But then when they're scared and timid, oh, yeah, I care, you know. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? But when it came to this, it just, it made me happy, but I didn't want to open up about it. So boom, the first time I got surgery. That's all you had to say. You didn't have to say, oh, I don't care what y'all think. No, just say, I didn't want to talk about it. That's all. I saw it. You saw it. I didn't want to talk about it. Stand on it, you know? And I'm not saying she isn't. That's what I would have said. I would never say, well, I don't care what y'all think. If I hid for two years from the world or hid 
my insecurities from the world because it's clear like when you're a youtuber you can't hide your body <laughs> can't hide your face you're a youtuber i mean not unless you're like a t-page or some shit but that's not her brand um honestly i got butt implants i got butt implants with a bbl because according to the surgeon I so that picture um you know you know what honestly I was going to say something, but I realized a lot of content creators, YouTubers edit their photos. So there's literally TikToks of women using airbrush and doing all that stuff. So we can say it looks good, but do we really know if it looks good? You see what I'm saying? And I think that's where people get confused. Like, you don't see this person in real life, so you really don't know. So that's why when she said, I was scared of people judging me and stuff, or I need people's support, it's like, these people don't know what you like in real life. You could very much look good on Instagram, whatever, because you added the airbrush or you hit a different angle. Yeah, but in real life, you could very much look different. You know, that's why it's like, why are we asking the internet you know a bunch of strangers you know it's too small um it seems like something you should ask like your mom your dad or like family like people that are like really close to you that really know you not strangers but when i got this bbl with butt implants you guys loved it you know i'm just paused so y'all can see the video I'm not gonna say anything because, like I said, you know, they could be using airbrush, could be, they could be doing anything to these photos. So, I knew you guys loved it. You guys said I looked very natural, even though that first surgery I was not natural. This one kind of looks a bit different. You could see the little dents there, but, um, but this could be the outfit. Um, show them more. And notice um, when people get BBLs and stuff like that, they most of the time wear skin tight clothes, really tight leggings, really showing their skin. And I understand that because you got your buddy done, so you want to show it off. So it looks better. Like BBLs look better when you don't have no clothes on because you can really see the waist and you can really see the shape of the body. But when these people, have on like big baggy sweatpants it makes your butt look even bigger because sweatpants naturally make your butt look big or when you wear like a really big hoodie hoodie it makes you look bigger because like really big clothes make you look bigger and most people normal people wear normal clothes they don't all the time look like that like what she's wearing right now with the pink hoodie that's what you're gonna wear in general, you know? So it's, from my attention, most of the time when people wear BBLs in baggy clothes, they look fat. And I know they're not because they have skinny waist, they had all the surgery, but like, that's what I'm saying. It looks so much better in like skinny clothes or no clothes. I had fake, a fake ass, like, I had plastic, I had implants in my butt, like if you do implants in your boobs, I had implants in my butt. You guys loved it. I looked very natural to you guys. Of course, you guys loved it. I look very natural because you guys have to keep in mind. That's the thing. If people say that you look natural when they know that you had surgery, you know you've had surgery, I don't really trust them because it's like, that's literally the point of enhancements, the point of makeup, the point of weave. The point of lip fillers, the point of lipo, the point of BBL is to not look natural. Because if you really wanted to look natural, you would not get tattoos, you would not get piercings, you would not get lashes, you would not get fillers, weave, makeup, veneers, BBLs. It's literally the point. So I'm not trusting nobody that's like, oh, you look natural. No. That's not the point. If I went to look natural, I would have never gotten a BBO. I would not wear makeup.
Like, let's be for real. Younger back then, I was smaller. I was 24 when I first got surgery. I'll be 27 in four months. So, of course, you know, women in their 20s, we gain weight and stuff like that as we go on. But we on the gain weight. So if you're wearing baggy clothes, like just normal, just chilling, it's winter. You can't wear skimpy shit, right? Just chilling. You want to wear normal stuff when you're out and about. And you are getting older and you're naturally gaining weight. It's going to naturally make you look like you are fat. Even if you are, I'm not saying she is, but... I'm just making a point here. I'll get into that later. But of course, back then I was much smaller. I had a very petite size. My breasts were smaller. My thighs were smaller. Everything was smaller. So of course you guys loved it. And I think you guys don't understand. As women get That's what I'm saying. You're saying you don't care what people think, but if somebody loves it, you care. If somebody don't love it, you don't care. And then you say you care. And then it's like and then in general, you say, well, I got my money done because I like it. I don't care who like It's like, you care. You care. You care. So of course, you guys loved it. And I think you guys don't understand. As women get older, we gain weight. Our body changes. Our face changes and things like that, which is probably why I look bigger now. But anywho, um, my first surgery was a BBL with butt implants. And I loved it. It looked super natural. Nobody knew I had butt implants except for the people that was very close to me. As the year went on, I didn't want to have my implants anymore. I didn't want to have my implants anymore. And it was just... I just didn't want to have that look. I just wanted to be myself. I just wanted to not have anything fake in me or anything like that. Hence so I got my lip fillers taken out. I got my lip fillers taken out. As you got, well, my lips is lined right now. So you can't see like my natural lips, but they look, even with the makeup, they look very much smaller. But I got my lip fillers taken out and I wanted to get my implants taken out. So my second surgery, again, I lied to you guys. And I told you guys like, yeah, I'm getting another BBL. Da -da -da, which I shouldn't have did because to the world it's looking like I just keep getting surgery, keep getting surgery. When in fact, my second surgery was really just me getting my implants taken out and I purposely gained weight. And I was telling you guys like, yeah, I'm getting weight so he could put more fat in my butt. And it was a lie. I honestly gained weight so when he took the implants out, I will still have a full butt, you know? And uh, me purposely gaining weight on top of getting older and stuff like that, the weight stuck to me. And I'm not a naturally skinny girl. So me taking um, the weight gain syrup was kind of like a mistake because I feel like that's for much smaller girls that has trouble gaining weight. With me, I'm not a small girl and I could gain weight if I eat. But I was just fearing like if I get these implants taken out, I'm just gonna look crazy. Like I don't, I still want a butt, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's where everything kind of went downhill. But my second surgery wasn't me getting a BBO. It was me getting my butt implants taken out. And I'm kind of happy I'm opening up about this because you guys think that I keep going under the knife and want to change myself and this and that. When honestly, I just wanted to be my natural self again. And me not being open and honest about that kind of had a lot of people on the internet looking at me like, this girl keeps getting surgery, she's insecure, and da 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 da. When that wasn't the truth, I just wanted to be my natural self again. So my second surgery, I had got my implants taken out. After I had got my implants taken out, months later, I had got my lip fillers taken out. I just wanted to be me. This is where everything went downhill. When I got my butt implants taken out, it caused a lot of scar tissue in my butt, which made my butt look very weird. And I see in the comments, you guys saying, oh, your second surgery looks terrible this and that, your butt looks weird, and da, 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 da. And it did, I couldn't even argue with you guys, it did, but that's just something I was going through, like physically, and looking at the comments hurt me a lot. And it's like, I couldn't- But you don't care what people think. I don't care what nobody say, everybody cares what people think. Everybody cares what people think. If you go to the job and your boss doesn't like you, you care. Your coworkers don't like you, you care. Your family, your friends, your romantic partner, your, you care. You care what people think. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And the fact that she had to lie, what are you lying in her for? You know?
be mad because I didn't open up with you guys and be honest with you guys of what I really went through and why my butt was looking like that. I didn't know. You don't have to be honest with the internet of what's going on and what you're really going through. Kiana, she's made her brand so good, so much bigger than her body. Honestly, she has her show. She worked with a network. She is past the point where she has to explain her personal life, her personal issues and what she got going on. And that's me being for real. She surpassed that. So the fact that she felt like she needed to lie or the fact that she's even addressing anything, you know, that's a moment that was between you and your loved ones, you know, people that's intimate. I don't believe that you have to share everything with the internet. Cause what's the point? Literally, if, if she would have never posted this video, we would have never known probably honestly and nobody would have gave up everybody would have still continued to watch her videos that's not about her body like i don't think y'all know how much that people don't care about your body people don't really care about how you look the only people that are really caring about how you look is you and that's for real and that's for real especially when you put out good content you have people watching it, you know, you got these challenges, you collab with different YouTubers, you upgrade it, girl, ain't nobody care about it, buddy. They don't. That's just something for them. Your body is people's entertainment. Your body is people's entertainment. They do not care about it, which is why. Why is she asking people for support? You're you crying, you being happy, you being miserable in misery, bro. You in misery, be you in misery about your body for some time, and people didn't care about how you felt, they just laughed at you. Everybody is using your pain as entertainment. And I understand you want to make money off of this. You want to make money off your pain. I understand that. You're a YouTuber. This is your job. You sharing your life is your job. But I honestly feel like you surpassed that. Honestly. It was going to look like that after surgery at all. I didn't know that. I just thought I was getting my implants taken out. But when I got them taken out, it caused a lot of scar tissue in my butt. And it caused my butt to look very 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 weird one thing she said was people were saying that i kept going back and getting surgery but she was going back to take out things that she didn't want in her head that's not going back to get more surgery in her head that was fixing the problem that she already had to me that's still going back and getting multiple surgeries you get what i'm saying And that's the thing about plastic surgery is if it doesn't turn out good or something happens and your body changes, which your bad body is naturally going to change, you have to go back. Or else you're going to look bad. And these surgeons be knowing that. They love that. They want you to change. They want you to get older. And she talked about having a baby. Bro, you go to the surgeon and say, I'm getting a BBL. Okay, great. They give you a B. They give you a BBL. And you tell them, I'm about to have a baby soon. They see money, money signs in their eyes. And they're like, yes, yes, she gonna come back. Oh, you know you're gonna have to come back after you have that baby. You know, they know what they're doing. These surgeons know what they're doing. So in your mind, you're thinking, oh, just one surgery. But they'll say things and you'll change because you're a person and you get older and you want to have kids and you want to do different stuff and you can't do it because you have to have this surgery. Like that's having multiple surgeries, girl, even removing it. And I dealt with that for a whole year because I got my implants taken out October 2022. Um, so all of 2023, 
that's when you guys see me, I was looking weird, I was shaped weird, whatever the case may be. And that's something I was dealing with through the whole year. I was very insecure in my clothes. I wasn't insecure, you know, I know I'm a beautiful girl. But I was very insecure in my clothes. I didn't like the way I looked at my clothes, like the way my butt looked was just... I think she was insecure. I think what she meant to say is she's not insecure in her face. Well, she got lip fillers and she took them out. So yeah, she is insecure about that. Um... And she hid from the world for tears. Kiana, I'm sorry, girl. But you gotta be honest. You gotta be real with yourself. And that is what's causing you to have so many surgeries. You know. You gotta be real. You are insecure. You had to hide that. And you felt like you needed to lie. On top of the weight gain, it just wasn't good and I didn't have more lipos so my stomach was, you know, it just wasn't looking good and you guys seen that. But to you guys, it was like, oh, she got another BBL. Her BBL is botched. Da -da -da -da. Her first BBL was better. That first BBL was fake. And you guys loved it. You, it was fake. And my second one, I didn't want to be fake. Because they don't know any better. They don't know what you look like. They don't know what you look like. Literally. More. I want to take all that shit out of me and I want to be natural, but it just looked terrible into the world because I was putting it out there that I was getting a BBO. It's like I looked botched to you guys. When every you didn't even have to put that out. If you want to do something, go do it. Why putting it out? Don't nobody care. Literally. If you just come on the camera looking good, they're not gonna ask no question. And if you come on the camera looking bad, obviously they're going to say something. But you care what they think. And that's okay. Let them talk their shit. Fix it. I just wanted my BB, my butt implants taken out. So I went through that for a whole year. Um, and I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take the comments. I couldn't take me looking at myself like that. I couldn't take it anymore. So this last surgery is something that I had to do. I spoke to a surgeon, one of the best surgeons in Colombia. His name is Dr. Pena. Shout out to you. He's amazing. And he reconstructed my entire body. And it's making me emotional because... Um, I finally feel better in my body. Um, and it's like, I made a mistake getting the implants. You know, I was young. I'm listening to this doctor telling me, oh, you're too small, whatever. And they're going to tell you whatever they need to tell you to keep that money. They're going to build your confidence up, tear it back down just to get more money. Build it up, tear it down. Because that's what they do. That's their job, literally. And I feel so bad, you know, she's crying and upset about her body. Everybody deserves to feel comfortable in their skin. But also, Kiana, you've talked about having kids because I watch Kiana, you know. And in our other video, she talked about having kids. And it's like, girl, you're never going to feel confident in your body if you keep having these surgeries, knowing that your body is going to change naturally. Especially when you have in mind that you want to have kids, you know, I don't think I think you'll feel, you'll feel good now, which is a good feeling that you feel good about your body. But what happens when your body changes, which it is. And that's where the insecurity lies. It's not about what she had to do to change her body to get it to where she needs to be. It's the fact that regardless of how her body looks, how she feels about herself is what's wrong. It's not about her face. It's not about her ass. It's not about any of that, any of that stuff. It's about mm, wanting and needing that surgery and BBO, you know. I was 164 right now, 187. I'm getting older, so of course I'm gonna gain weight. But at the time, I was small. I said I didn't have enough. And I'm scared that as she gets older and have kids, she's gonna look down at her body and go again to get more surgery because her body is gonna change. And I feel the fear that for her. I, I don't want that. You know, I don't want that for her. 
implants. So I made a mistake and I got implants and it kind of ruined me, you know. Um, but we all make mistakes when we're young. As we get older, we learn from those mistakes. And I feel like I shouldn't be punished on the internet for a mistake, you know. But um, Dr. Pena really helped me. I reached out to him. I showed him my pictures and, you know, what was going on and stuff like that. And he said, you have a lot of scar tissue. This needs to be fixed. Like, you're body looks terrible and i'm sorry for keep stopping it but these surgeons are never going to make you look perfect they're always going to do something or say something to make you feel or think or point out something to make you say oh i gotta go back i gotta fix it i gotta there's always something that you gotta fix that's their job that's their job is to make you keep coming back you know some of them might purpose purposefully do stuff to your body and stuff just so you can say oh my god i need to fix this so you can come back and you can tell all your friends and that's a part of the game not just with surgeons but dentists hairstylists lashes oh you need your hair fixed better than this i could do it better oh you need your lashes oh come back I, you know you're missing a little bit just give me five dollars Oh, your teeth, your teeth, your teeth could be perfect. Then you go back to the dentist. Oh, no, we got to do this. To the that is their job, which is why you need to ask yourself, do I really need this shit? Or are they fucking with my mind? And you need to talk to your loved ones, your loved ones, not your friends. So, um, that's why I got another surgery. I wasn't going to be open about it at all, but being around Neek and she was vlogging and stuff like that, I couldn't help but to be in the, in the background of the video. She's trying to be quiet or like, she's trying to not put me in the videos and stuff. And I didn't want her to go through that. So I'm like, girl, it's okay. They're going to know my voice. I have a very distinctive voice. They're going to know my voice. So that's the case. I'm going to open up about it. And I feel like if I open up about it, you guys will be very more understanding and very more supportive and stuff. Man. The internet gonna be understanding today and not understanding tomorrow. So, oh, what took? And then you care about the understanding, but yet again, you say you don't care. Columbia to get my body fixed, and he did an amazing job. I did have arm lipo, I had stomach lipo, I reduced my hips, and he reconstructed my butt to look better. And he did an amazing job. I mean, and but yeah, she said, I didn't want the internet to think that I was getting all these surgeries. She listed a lot of surgeries. I don't know, Kiana. I, I don't know. I want to be her friend real bad because, listen, I'm not going to lie to you to make you feel better. I'm not about to have you just out here aimlessly spending money. I'm not about to have you out here being insecure. I'm not about to have you out here looking stupid. I'm going to tell you the real. How fine is Jasmine? Love with my results, and I will show you guys my results in this video. I also vlogged the process. I want to post the vlog um, in a separate video. And in that vlog, I showed you guys how terrible my butt looks. I showed you guys everything. I was very open and honest. But I just wanted to drop this video first just to, like, get the heat off my back so you guys can understand what I'm going through. I didn't want to keep getting surgery because I'm insecure or I just want to keep changing my body. This last surgery I had to do to fix myself. I had scar tissue in my butt and it looked bad. And my hips was a little wide and things. There's nothing wrong with being insecure. Y'all, we are human. We're human. Yes, we can do things to feel less insecure about ourselves. But, you know, obviously, some things we just gotta be like, man, I gotta accept the fact that I'm like this. You know, you know, there's some people that are like 600 pounds and they work out a lot and they lose weight, but they have excess fat. And instead of getting a light bulb, they say, you know what? I love you because the fact that I went and go work out and I look this good, you know, you got to congratulate yourself. You got to pride yourself on the things that do look good, you know, before you get surgery.
that, you know, and I just threw in a little arm lipo, a little stomach lipo in there. Y'all can't be mad at me. I just want a little smaller look. But I get it. When you're rich, you know, you just be wanting to spend money. That's, that's what I think, you know. I'm not going to spend money on my body when I get rich, but to each his own, you know, everybody got their little vice. I was gaining weight. I was gaining weight. So I just wanted to treat myself and I threw in an extra um, arm lipo, stomach lipo. Um, he took some out of my hips and when I change or whatever, you guys will see bandages on my hips because my hips are still healing. Um, reduced my hips and he fixed my butt and honestly, I feel very confident. To you guys on the internet, a lot of people are saying I look good. Here we are. Um, see, she looks good. That's what I'm saying. When, like I said, when you get these BBLs, when you wear really tight clothes, you can really see their body shape. You can really see it, like really good. But when they have on these baggy, like normal clothes, they just look bigger. On top of you getting older, on top of you eating more, you know what I'm saying? Because it is hard to be consistent in the gym. And I understand that. She looks good though. And I'm glad that she feels good about herself. What do y'all think? Do y'all think she looks good? She looks good, you know? She looks good. But yep. Thank you for watching, y'all. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. This is how fun is Jasmine.